So today I'll explain to you how to safely be out of any other driver's blind spot. If we travel in somebody else's blind spot for too long, it uh, could potentially cause uh, an accident because uh, not all, all the drivers check their blind spots. So now at the moment I will be in the right blind spot of this silver car. So I'd rather get in their vision. At the moment I'm in the blind spot of this red Hyundai i30. So uh, the best practice is to either pass them or drop back. So being in somebody's blind spot for longer than three seconds or five seconds could potentially be a risky um, behavior because uh, not all the drivers check their blind spot prior to changing lanes. So now I'm going to be in the blind spot of that silver Mazda. So if I'm here for like five, six seconds and something accidentally happens in front of them and they want to change lanes as quick as possible, so I'll be better off being in their vision like I am now so that driver definitely sees me now in their rear view mirror and the side mirrors or if I drop back a little bit further so uh, now as well they can see me it's scientifically proven that this driver can't see me without turning the head unless they've got the uh, equipment that uh, shows the blind spot in their mirror which some of the modern cars have but not all of them so best off again being in their vision now he sees me 100% now or if I drop back slightly like I am doing now. If the traffic is so congested and you happen to be for about 10-15 seconds in somebody's blind spot, it's best to have the thumb of your right hand covering the horn. So in an event of someone starting to change lanes, you would quickly be able to hit the horn and uh, warn the driver that, you know, that might be getting in your way. So um, this is very important and uh, these habits are not very difficult to acquire, but you can you know, practice initially and be conscious of these things in the beginning, and at some point they're gonna become your second nature.